Okay, so we're about five to six months away from the Galaxy S24 lineup, and we already have a lot of information, but mostly about the internal features of the lineup. Initially, there was rumors that the S24 was gonna come with two variants. One was gonna be with Samsung's own Exynos 2400 chip, and then another variant that we were gonna get with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Now, Samsung tried to do the same thing with the S23 lineup, where some of the variants were expected to come with the Exynos chip, and then some were expected to come with the Snapdragon chip, but at the end of the day actually ended up just coming out with the Snapdragon Agent 2 chip specifically on the S23 Ultra, which was something that everyone was happy about. And if you've been following the news, you would know that Samsung is trying to retrace their steps and do something very similar again, where they're trying to test out two variants, some phones coming out with the Exynos 2400 chip, and then some phones coming with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. And that kind of upset a lot of people, specifically in the Middle Eastern and South Asia region, because this is where we are expecting to get the Exynos variant, which uh, real people are really not too happy about. But according to the latest rumors, it looks like Samsung is actually kind of backing up again, and specifically for two phones, the S24 Ultra and the S24 uh, Plus, is expected to get an exclusive made for Galaxy A Gen 3 chip, which is not just a regular A Gen 3 chip, it's actually an overclock chip. Now I should mention that the made for Galaxy is, is only 100% exclusive for the S24 Ultra, which means that the S24, the standard version and the plus, some of the plus versions may get uh, an overclock version of the uh, Snapdragon A Gen 3 and some may get the Exynos. So Exynos is still not fully out of the question. It is still coming, but it looks like the S24 Ultra, which is gonna be the most expensive, the flagship, the top of the level phone, is only gonna get a Snapdragon chip. Now this means that the S24 Ultra is gonna have the highest specs and the S24 Plus, which is also gonna come, some of the variants which are gonna come with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip are also an overclocked version, but it's not as overclocked as the S24 Ultra, which means that we're actually getting three variants of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. One is gonna be the regular variant, which is gonna be used by a lot of other phone manufacturers, and then two made for Galaxy for, uh, uh, 8 Gen 3 versions, one is gonna be slightly overclocked and then one is gonna be more overclocked, which is gonna be for the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra exclusively. Now we know this based on a new Geekbench entry, which was made for a Nubia phone, which was coded Nubia NX769J, which is believed to be the upcoming Red Magic 9, which reveals that the Nubia phone has the same pineapple motherboard and Walt governor as the Galaxy S24, which means that both phones will be powered by the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 SoC. Now, what's the difference between these three chips? What 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 can we see in terms of uh, uh, cores? Or what is the difference that we see between the overclock version and the regular version? The regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip has a base frequency of 2.26 gigahertz, and then two cores are clocked at 2.27 gigahertz. We also have five cores running at 2.96 gigahertz, and then one core which is operating at 3.19 gigahertz. The Galaxy S24 Plus, however, has a different configuration. So instead of rocking a two plus five plus one CPU core, the Galaxy S24 chip has four CPU clusters in the arrangement of two plus two plus three plus one. And for the made for Galaxy Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is the exclusive S24 version, this chip will still have 2.26 gigahertz as a base frequency and 2.27 gigahertz frequency on the first two CPU cores. But the three core cluster is clocked at 3.15 gigahertz instead of 2.96 gigahertz. And the single core performance runs at 3.3 gigahertz instead of 3.19 gigahertz. Now, having said that, there is still a possibility that Qualcomm will come out with a uh, overclocked version of the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is being used on the, which will be used on the S24 Ultra. So it's not only, it's not gonna be forever exclusive for the S24 Ultra in the beginning, yes, but by the end of the year, we may see this being used in other phones. And we're, I'm telling you this because we saw a Red Magic 8S Pro being used uh, that has the same exact chipset as the S23 Ultra, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, but again, it's an overclocked version. So based on this, there's a possibility that we may see other phones and other phone manufacturers 
uh, use the same chip that the S23 Ultra has. So Qualcomm may make that possible, but just not in the beginning. Exclusively, let's say for the first six to eight months, it's only gonna be Samsung. And then later, by the end of 2024, we may see the same variant being used in other phones. So yeah, I think we're pretty much safe when it comes to the S24 Ultra buyer. So if you are uh, trying to buy an S24 Ultra, or if you have that in mind, and you're planning to buy it once it comes out, then you're, you're, you're pretty much safe. Uh, when it comes to the chip because it's going to be exclusively having an, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. But as for the rest, it's really still not sure. We are going to see Exynos 2400 on some variants and we are going to see uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in some areas, depending on where you live. We really don't know, but uh, for the most part, it looks like Euro Europe and the Middle East and some parts of South Asia will come with the Exynos chips and then the rest, America, Canada, will mostly uh, have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Just wanted to share this news and I think it's good news, but uh, we're still not fully out of the water. But I do hope that the Exynos 2400 uh, meets our expectations and is as good as the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Who, who am I kidding? We, we, we know that's not going to be true. But uh, anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this. And is there anyone in my audience that you're still watching? Is there anyone that still uh, thinks that the Exynos chip is going to be as good as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip? So if you are one of those people, let me know your thoughts and let me know your thinking behind this. I'd like to know why you think the Exynos chip is a better uh, performing chip. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.